The only cafe for the deaf community between here and Washington, D.C. is at risk of closing. Deaf's delight in Newark has been through hard times with COVID, then Hurricane Ida, and that led to her landlord suing her for what he says is missed rent. Chris Welch investigates. I don't know what else to do. Sandy Rivers has had one hell of a time. I really need help. We first met her back in 2021, fighting to make it after COVID. I definitely don't want to lose something I just started. But Def's Delight Cafe in Newark, New Jersey, the only cafe in the tri-state area devoted to the deaf community, is once again at risk of folding. This is video she took as water poured into Def's Delight's kitchen after Hurricane Ida. Stove, grill. State Farm approved her claim for new appliances. They also approved her claim for lost wages covering three months. However, she was forced to remain closed for six months due to the building's roof that needed repair, the responsibility of her landlord. The insurance company denied the additional three months of lost wages, arguing the roof should have been fixed by the landlord sooner. Then came this. They suing me for the six months they had me closed. Her landlord has filed a lawsuit requesting more than $35,000. The majority of that rent payments from the six months she was closed. She says her landlord said he'd forgive those months. Have you reached out to your landlord and what is he saying about why he's asking for this money now? He's saying nothing. He won't get back to you? No. He did get back to us after we showed up at his office and agreed to a Zoom interview the next day. Our goal here, Chris, is, is not to, to, to hurt someone who is, who's done wonders for the deaf community here in Newark. Um, but to, to work where it's fair and equitable. Richard Dunn, senior VP at Paramount Assets, acknowledged the company's delayed roofing repairs. It took a little longer than we had encountered. And his company's promise to credit those six months of rent, but he says that is not the whole story. I told her we would take care of the rent, uh, but she, you know, didn't pay rent uh, from February forward except for drips and drafts. In a subsequent phone call, Dunn said Rivers hasn't made any rent payments until very recently. She started making payments uh, within the last, uh, I would say, last 30 days. According to bank statements provided to Fox 5 by Rivers, she is either paid in full or nearly full for June, July, August, October, November, and she's provided us a photo of a check she wrote for December. But Dunn says there are still at least three months completely unaccounted for, the three months after she first reopened. Rivers' first court date is next Thursday. You're still smiling. Yes, because this place is so much worth it. She remembers why she started Deaf's Delight in the first place, for her parents, both of whom were deaf. She would say, keep striving till the wheels fall off. Don't let them beat you. And I have it, and I'm pet. And because Sandy Rivers has been putting all her money into paying for the cafe space, she says she's being evicted from her home apartment at the end of this month. For anyone who wants to help her, Def's Delight is running a uh, GoFundMe campaign. Her landlord now tells us he is willing to meet with her to discuss further options ahead of next week's court dates.